PlayStation 5. We started the PlayStation 5 version maybe a few months back over the summer. I have beaten and gotten Platinum Trophy of Man Eater on PS4, but apparently I gotta do it all over again. We do have the new content. Before I get into that, I am about to played through the entirety of this man-eater. So, let's get into that. And then there's my bowl. According to the county administrator, Chuck Huckleridge, the lack of effectiveness of piecemeal technocratic solutions here can only be solved with more piecemeal technocratic solutions. So now we have a teen tiger shark. In the original one, you start with a bull shark. I'm not even so sure we can upgrade this, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, we can upgrade him. His body will change later on. Because we'll start putting the old armor and shit back on to get through the Scaly Pete story. All my challenges I think I have still in this area. There's a lot of these things we can't even do until like we're a lot stronger. Basically, to continue, we can go to Dead Horse Lake, but I really want to see if I can take care of a few of these things. The best way to really go about it is to do these little shits first.
See you later, Dommy.
the bull retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection. Goaded by lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus.
shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. Local critic once wrote that Amos Beauregard was the Rodin of the Bayou, but Beauregard was functionally illiterate and had no idea who Rodin was. For human hunters and animal predators alike, the Bayou is revered for its wildness and generosity. According to the county administrator, Chuck Hucklebridge, the lack of effectiveness of piecemeal technocratic solutions here can only be solved with more piecemeal technocratic solutions. I used to buy sunshine sunscreen until I read it contains seven hormone disrupting chemicals and palm oil.
As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. Retributive action. versus dolphin, orca versus giant squid, 
boat versus pylon. When establishing dominance, the contest is usually a deadly one, with survival as the prize. Pack it in for now. It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. sorting of the saved and the damned when a predator is on the hunt. Got a regular there from Mingo Joe's. The saints are the tourist trap. But it's the only blink to get a decent Cesare that don't have me on there. Do not serve least. Several grouper have made a home near the retired nuclear cooling towers. This is a great opportunity for the shark to test the theory that exposure to gamma rays gives you superpowers. A school of barracuda frequents the waters around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and used pregnancy tests. around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and used pregnancy tests. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death.
Several grouper have made a home near the retired nuclear cooling towers. This is a great opportunity for the shark to test the theory that exposure to gamma rays gives you superpowers. While most know him as the friendly face of Captain Winky's fish and chips, in real life, the pirate was a genocidal monster who murdered and enslaved thousands. Peace of the Grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness. spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals.
appreciate the grant from Sunshine Solutions that made this show possible. We'd also like to remind viewers that mass cloning and gene editing for today's military is safer than ever. supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hitting artificial colors or flavors. The slicing jaws of the shark chop the grouper into morsel-sized pieces. One must be quick to dodge the savage slash of the barracuda's underfoot.
it makes you feel better, I ate the heck out of some crockpot alligator killed Bossa bites earlier. Boy. Mutagen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. have made a home near the retired nuclear cooling towers. This is a great opportunity for the shark to test the theory that exposure to gamma rays gives you superpowers. Although the barracuda isn't prized as a commercial fish by humans, bull sharks will eat just about anything.
The gluttonous grouper eats fish, octopi, and crustaceans. A bull shark is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. It's here in the grotto. What? <laughs>